today we have something <laughs> special. Absolutely. Yes, we have a truly enlightening segment lined up just for you, and we'll be shedding light on a topic that affects us all, protecting our skin from the harmful effects of UV rays. Absolutely, especially us living in the tropics. Whether you're longing to be in a sandy beach, hitting the hiking trails, or just going about your daily routine, this talk show is <coughs> packed with essential tips to keep your skin sun safe and healthy. And that is why we have the expert dermatovenerologist the dermatovirologist and DC Beauty <laughs> Clinic co-founder Dr. Cardiana Dewi with us to share her expertise on the importance of sunscreen and how we can protect our skin from those sneaky, naughty UV rays. Sneaky little rascals. Exactly. So before we go yes. into the question, how does sunscreen protect the skin from the harmful effects of UV rays? Doctor, yes. Ralphie and I, and I'm sure a lot of our audience members would like to know, what is UV ray? UV ray is like the thing that you get from the sunshine. Mm. Which is like you cannot avoid that. Yes. And then we're gonna classify it into A, B, C. The one that you already know with C is like protected by the ozone. Mm -hmm. okay. And it's all have very bad impact. But right. A and B also have a bad impact, but not immediately. Oh. Right, what is the impact on our skin, these UV rays? UV rays have a bad impact on our skin. You can see in short term and long term. Right. Oh. Yes, short we're gonna term? talk about it, like uh, the difference between the UV A and B. Right. Okay. Yes. Mostly right. people gonna be confused with the A and B. Right. So I'm I'm gonna bring my mannequin. Uh, yes. yes. Okay. This that's great. Skin. It's right. like biology class all over uh, again. I know. So this is our skin layers. If this one is the outer layer of our skin, and yes. if you cut it, and it's like this. This is the epidermal layer, and this is the dermal one. Dermal is the one with the collagen, make your skin tight and everything, all right? right. So we're now talking about the UV rays. Okay. The UVA yes. has a longer wavelength, so it can penetrate deeper. <gasps> so That's it can bad. impact on the dermal layer. Right. And it can make a like, long-term effect like the collagen shrink and everything, and it causes aging, of course. Oh, no! That's ah. Okay. That's but, yeah. but because A, deeper, mm -hmm. you cannot see the effect immediately. Uh-oh. Ralphie, uh-oh. It's okay. like a long-term. Right. I think. Okay. okay. Long-term, permanent or premature aging. Oh, no. But again, the bad thing about the UVA is you cannot see the evac immediately, yeah. but it can be like all, even through glass, uh -huh. it still can shine and it can get through all the right. glass and window. That's why even you in, uh, indoor, you still have to use the sunscreen. Oh. Yes. Yep, right? Huh, new and fact. Exactly. Fact. I didn't know that. Of mm. course, and then the UVA, this one, its intensity is quite stable. Right. So even throughout the years, on cloudy days, UVA still shines. Seriously? And you still get it. Yes. Okay. okay. That's the UVA. That's right? UVA. Right. We understand right. now. It goes inside. Yes, yeah, so now the UVB. Right. UVB, uh -huh. like, the wavelength are shorter. Yes. So it costs, like, damage on the outer layer right outer layer so you can see the effect immediately it's burning whenever you go to the beach and your skin get red yeah yes. that's the uvb that's b yes okay a. b burning a aging oh b burning a aging right now you remember but what about i have this thing doc i mean of course as i get older uh, we indonesians would call it fleck or what do you call that in English? The uh, hyperpigmentations, uh, freckles, and freckles. The, yes, it's, it's a different type actually. So okay. what's happening here? I mean, it's like what causes freckles? When you got the UV thing, that the mm. A and B can cause it. The UV A can cause it, like in long term. But UV yeah. B after the burning, mm. you can see immediately the redness because our skin type easily get hyperpigmented, yes. and it can get, make hyperpigmentations as well. Right. But the UV B, the intensity is not as UV A as stable That's, as that. Okay. Yeah. So it's like more intense during the midday yeah. and summer. Okay. Yes, yeah, so, absolutely. So that's the UVB. Okay. So the different, the A is deeper for aging, and then B is more shorter wavelength on outer layer. All right. More to burning. So okay. what causes skin cancer? Yes, let's talk about the big C here. Skin. Of cancer. course, of course, both can lead to skin cancer. The bad effect of the UV rays is they don't only cause damage that you see, but also inside the skin layers. Aging, burning, and also the cell become damaged. Right. Okay. okay. The DNA also become damaged. And of course, if you get a very chronic, quite long term, then you can, it leads to the skin cancer, the one that we scared about. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. Yes. That's why we 
use uh, the thing that's yes. called sunscreen. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna bridge to that because yes. I started using sunscreens yes. uh, a year ago. Uh -huh. But I, I still don't know how it protects my face and skin. Oh, yeah, I just yeah. use it. <laughs> Yes. yes, everyone told me to use. Yes, yes. But I don't know what's the effect for it. That's why we have you here, doctor. So. All right, all right. So the thing about sunscreen is, it's okay. Not only you. Some people they, they don't know what's the the really effect. Yeah. Like yes. We still use it anyway. So first, sunscreen it can like help protect our skin from the UV rays through three mechanisms. Like mm -hmm. mostly the combinations. Mm -hmm. First, they can reflect it. Reflect some, it back. Yes. Some sunscreens oh. we call it physical sunscreen. They reflect it when you put it there. It sit like here, quietly, nicely on the surface of the skin. So when the UV ray comes here, it goes away, it reflects. Right, that's one. Yes, uh -huh. and the second one is absorption. Yeah. Some typical, like the chemical sunscreen, yeah. you ever heard maybe, but we forgot. But like the chemical thing, they help to absorb the UV ray yeah. after they absorb and they transform it. Into? Like the one that is less damaging, such as heat. Right. So you get more evaporate. Right, okay okay, okay, okay. okay. And the third one is by scattering. Like the when you put the sunscreen, yes. the UV ray gonna be scattered in multiple ways so it's not really get into deep to your skin. All right. So the reflections, absorptions, and the scattering. All there right. are three mechanisms. How do we choose the right sunscreen? Because oftentimes when we go to a drugstore doctor, yes. what happens is way so many selections, yes. SPF. 30, 50, 100, oh, uh, different know. brands. So, oh, so how do we choose which one is good for us? So of course, first you have to know your skin type as first. Okay. Yeah, if your skin is normal, then you can use any sunscreen. But yeah. if your skin is very oily, of course you have to use the one that is like uh, more liquid, mm -hmm. more like gentle, non-comedogenic one. Mm -hmm. And then if your if your skin is sensitive, you use the one for hypoallergenic and dermatology tested and everything. Ah, okay. And but if your skin dry, you can use the one with the moisturizer. So it will help your skin not to dry as well. Okay. Right. That's the first, your skin type. But the second thing is, it depends on your activity. Right. Normally on our daily basis, I guess SPF 30 is quite okay. Okay. Yeah. But if you go like for outdoors, more like the swimming and everything, of course you need the one that is the SPF is a bit higher yeah. and then like more waterproof. Higher would be yes, like 50? 50 and more than 50. 50 and 100. Okay. Yes. All right. 100 is too much, I think. I don't know. Yeah, yeah but, but sometimes we can use it like if you want to go to like uh, abroad, the, the country that is ah, very hot, very yes. humid, that you can yeah. use it as well. All right. But mostly like in our country, like 50 it should be okay. How many times should we reapply? And yeah. every how many hours? Every two hours. Seriously, hours. Doc? Oh my so, God, I know. am ashamed of myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, Ravi, no. I'm even more ashamed of myself because I rarely use sunscreen. Oh, doctor, no. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know, like, uh, if you don't used to it, like, it's very, like, disturbing to use that one. It's very yeah. sticky and everything. But yeah. the thing that we should know is, first, you have to use your sunscreen in a proper amount. That's first. How? What you is use, proper amount? Like, the SPF 30 is better if it's properly used okay. than the 50. So, for the face, you can use this, too. That's what I did. Oh, so, so one, one two. two. Yes. You put like this, and then you put it all over the face. Yep. Okay, okay, let me show you. Let me show you. This is the right amount that you need to have, even when it's SPF 30. You put the sunscreen like, uh, uh, <laughs> and that's, and then you put it all over <laughs> your face. If yes. it's less, it's not going to be effective, Doc. Yes. Okay. And of course, always remember that. Why every two hours? Because our skin will going to be evaporated and it gets sweats and everything. Of course, if you go outdoor yeah. swimming, the yeah. sweat sports and everything, of yeah. course, it needs to be reapplied even more. Okay. Which one is Every better? 40 minutes? Every 40 minutes. 40 okay. to 60, but I guess like in, I guess for me, it's only for certain cases. Like you go really to the outdoor and very shine. Uh -huh. uh, the, the sunshine is so bright and everything. But if yeah. it's just indoor, of course you don't okay. have to. Let's talk about daily lives here. Hang on, before that. <laughs> The texture, sometimes the texture. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nowadays, we have several. There's the lotion, which yes. is yes. known for ages, but now there's the spray as well. Now there's also the oil base as well. You know, it's like, so which one is, is I'm telling you guys mm. that like, <laughs> the one that spray, it's easy to use, but it's not really protective. It's, ah. not, it's not as powerful as of course, the of oil right. okay. Of course. What about People the always say, yeah. At least it's better, yeah. like yeah. that, but not necessarily. Okay, you but still need the lotion one. Yes, yeah, so of course. But what about the oil-based one? The stick one. Yeah, the I mean, stick. It's a stick one, the one that just like you put. Yeah, the stick one. Yes. That looks like a deodorant. Is that good? Yes. Um, actually, that kind of stick, 
it's of course it won't cover too too much of the whole surface yes. area of your face. Right. Okay. Don't really cover all. Okay. And if you have to remember, if you just like use a moisturizer or everything under it, uh, you might cause like maybe acne prone skin or more clog the pores, right. and then you make it even like not even of the applying of the sunscreen, mm. and then not full protections. So for women, usually they have like makeup, right? They have before the makeup, the previous layer would be moisturizer first or sunscreen first? Which one is first? Of course, sunscreens have to be the last thing. Exactly, that's what I did. The yeah. last thing? I do. Yes. Hang on, hang on. How, how, how? I do, how? To so you I do toner, I do moisturizer, I do sunscreen. Oh, oh. very good. Yes, yes. That's yes. what I did. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to make sure that you already put everything all together, but then you put the sunscreen on top of it. Yeah. On top of the makeup? No. Mm, right on top of the moisturizer. Moisturizer. Before okay. The makeup. Okay. Yes, of for the makeup. Okay. And then you have to make sure that you put it like all over like the face. Yes. Uh -huh. I understand that if you already put makeup, like you already put powder, you cannot reapply. <laughs> oh, dog. Like right. So you, if you're inside, in, like indoor activity, you don't have to reapply. I guess like. It's just like the normal thing if you don't really go outdoor and then get to expose to another thing. But then if you go outdoor, it would be better if you don't use powder so you can reapply the sunscreen. Yeah, there you go. Or wear a hat or, or wear umbrella. A hat. Yes. So uh, exactly. my question is... Yeah, oh, sorry. So sorry, Ralphie. It's okay, guys. It's okay. It's okay, Marissa. So my daily life, I commute. Yes. I use motorcycles yes. uh -huh. every day. Yeah. So how much... How many times should I reapply then? Every 40 minutes? No, and then no, no. Before I reapply, should I wash my face first? Uh -huh. Should I wipe it off uh, with... Uh, of course, it's gonna be... Micellar water? <laughs> yeah. Micellar water. That's it's gonna be better for. if you can wash your face first or use the micellar water. But I guess like... I guess for me, it's like this. If you try to use protection, if your skin is normal, as long as you already use it in proper amount, I guess it should be good. Just go for it. Yes, just go for go it. For Don't, it. No need to be too, you know. Yeah. But then, again, do you know, like, actually your body parts mm -hmm. also need sunscreen? Oh, no! Oh, no, no I've no. never... <laughs> like, even if like... I'm not in Bali, like, I don't use sunscreens on my body parts. Yeah, yeah, I know it's thick. But, but... doctor... I sometimes just go by the pool to get myself tanned. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a question here whether, <laughs> you know, if we use the lotion, will the tan happen or not? Because oftentimes I don't, because I just want to make sure that I look tan after the sunbathing. Yeah, of course, if you use sunscreen, yeah. of course the tan going to be less. Mm -hmm. okay. But there's one thing that you should understand that right. not sunscreen gift cover 100% protection. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. So even you already use sunscreen, there are parts of the UV rays still go through your skin. Okay. And of course, after that, the common results is there are more pigment yeah. and make your skin even more tan, right? Right. right? But if you do use sunscreen, of course, the tan going to be less. Right, right. Means that it they reflect. You. Yeah, exactly. If it's not Where's the cover? Yeah, right? yeah. But then, so if you want to get tan, I guess like you should make it like more. You should understand that also the planning. You, you know that it's already banned, right? And the, like you know the UV ban machine. Really? Or the tanning machine? Yeah. Really, dog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because machine, yeah. yes, tanning machine in the That's US right. uh, already some of some already banned because it leads to skin cancer. Oh. Because you can, like, of course, of course, you see that that's the yeah. UV ban. You you get like very intense in one closed room. It's yeah. Not good. It's right. not good. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Alrighty. Think, okay. Yeah. We still have to, even though we want to take care of our golden skin, we still have to put on the sunscreen. Yep. Yes. Sunscreen is very important. Maybe like lower the SPF a little bit. No? Yep. No, does it, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. <laughs> I guess SPF 30 is minimum, but always remember that it doesn't mean that the higher the SPF. The better the sunscreen is, no. And, and it doesn't mean that when you use higher SPF, uh -huh. you can go outside on, on under the sun without and, reapplying yeah. Yeah. for quite a long time. No. And just be it like doesn't work. Yes. Don't let me, son. <laughs> yeah, of course, you still have to reapply it. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right, 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 right. All right. Is there anything else that we haven't asked you that you think our audience members should know? Uh, I guess like um, it's very important for us to understand that all the UV and then the, now the blue lights and everything. Of course, like it can lead to the cell damage. What but blue it just, light? Dog? Yes. What is this? What blue is light. This is like the thing from the gadget. What does it do to our face? Yeah, it, it causes also the premature aging sign, <gasps> also cell damage, but not as strong as the oh. UV. Okay. Well, this is a new discovery. Yeah. Get off your phones. Get off your phones Get and iPads, people. 
start talking at restaurants to each other. <laughs> do what Marissa does. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? Take just you know, take some distance from take my phone. Distance at all. So blue oh, light is that. also. Yes, that's why you have to use sunscreen. Like, just use it regularly okay, as you no. like make it consistent. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how ha you have to remember that we have. If your skin is sensitive or you have like, I, I easily get allergic or I like, I easily get acne or something, you can yeah. always choose the right or proper uh, the sunscreen. By yeah. consulting? Yes, you can do the consulting if you get allergic, but actually for normal, like on daily basis, if you're, you think that your skin is sensitive, you can use and try to use the physical sunscreen. Physical sunscreen. Physical or mineral sunscreen. Maybe uh, you have you heard about the zinc oxide, titanium dioxide. Okay. That's the physical sunscreen. That's the thing that cover and reflect. Okay. Okay. And All the right. chemical sunscreen, if you see like avobenzone, ovobenzone, there's a lot of names on it. Yes. Wow. Uh, that's two different. Oh, this one that I have to tell you guys. Okay. The physical sunscreen use the one that is the titanium dioxide, zinc oxide. You can m mostly cause stain, a bit whiter. Oh. It? Yes. Right. Yes. 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 You, want, you want to use when you want to swim and everything. That's yeah. physical sunscreens for right. minerals. Mostly it's more gentle and less allergic or irritations cause. Okay. And just more color to your face. Yes. <laughs> okay. I can, right. Less, right. uh, it's, it's so hard to make it even. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's hard to make okay. it even. Right. Yeah. Okay. So the one that is chemical, yeah. it's like, it's hard to absorb. When you apply it, mm. so it will absorb the UV mm -hmm. and then it will transform into heat. So it cannot work immediately. You have to w use it like 20 to 30 minutes before. Got it. I've used that sort of sunscreen yes. before. Where like, please apply 20 yes. minutes before sun exposure. Yes. So that's the difference. The chemical one. Chemical and physical. Physical is usually the one that is super white and very, yes. very, very hard to even out. And then but the chemical it, one, you have to apply it 30 to 30, uh, 20 to 30 yes, minutes before 20 to 30 minutes exposure. Before. All okay. right, there's so much knowledge in know. just like 15 minutes. Is it 15? Is it? Oh, wow. I don't know. That's amazing. Probably even more. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Dr. You're very Dewey. Welcome. Doc, and yeah, we're so grateful for you to be here. And please do recommend me some uh, sunscreens after this. <laughs> All right. Off camera. Off camera. <laughs>